The 20th Engineer Brigade is a combat engineer brigade assigned to the 18th Airborne Corps of the United States Army stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Although the brigade was identified as an airborne unit, not all of its subordinate units were airborne qualified despite the airborne tab as part of the unit patch. Soldiers of the 20th Engineer Brigade provide various supportive duties to other Army units, including construction, engineering, and mechanical work on other Army projects. Though its predecessor units have lineage that dates back before the American Civil War, the formation was not formally designated as the 20th Engineer Brigade until its activation on 16 August 1950, at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Deploying overseas in November 1952, it supported construction projects in southwestern France until its return to the U.S. on 10 September 1954. From then until its inactivation on 12 December 1958, it provided support to 18th Airborne Corps. Reactivated on 1 May 1967, at Fort Bragg, the brigade deployed to Vietnam where it supported American forces for several years and a dozen campaigns. The brigade was deactivated on 20 September 1971, as American forces withdrew from the country, reactivated as an airborne brigade on 21 June 1974 at Fort Bragg, N.C. The unit has since seen numerous overseas tours, including to Kuwait during the Gulf War, Kosovo, Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom, and Iraq during Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation New Dawn. It has also independently conducted various humanitarian missions in the United States and in other nations throughout the world. Topic: Organization. The 20th Engineer Brigade currently consists of 5 engineer battalions headquartered throughout the eastern United States. The Brigade Headquarters and Headquarters Company HHC, as well as the 27th Engineer Battalion are headquartered at Fort Bragg, North Carolina while the 19th Engineer Battalion construction effects is located at Fort Knox, Kentucky. The 46th Engineer Battalion is located at Fort Polk, LA and the 92nd Engineer Battalion is located at Fort Stewart, Georgia. The 307th Engineer Battalion, formerly assigned to the 82d Airborne Division, was reactivated effective 16 September 2010 by reflagging the existing 37th Engineer Battalion. In 2014 the 307th was transferred to the 3D Brigade Combat Team of the 82nd Airborne Division. The insignia was originally authorized on 30 June 1967. It was amended on 14 January 1975 to add the blue and white. Airborne tab. The tab is part of the unit insignia and does not indicate whether an individual soldier is airborne qualified. Parachute wings on an individual soldier indicate airborne qualification. While the brigade headquarters was on jump status, some subordinate elements were not. On 16 September 2009, the brigade's airborne status was terminated and the airborne tab on the brigade's shoulder sleeve insignia was removed. Topic History Topic <inaudible> Lineage The lineage and honors of the twentieth Engineer Brigade date back to the American Civil War. First designated as the Battalion of Engineers on 3 August 1861, the battalion participated in ten campaigns during the Civil War. Since that time, unit designations have changed many times as predecessors of the 20th Engineer Brigade have served in the Spanish-American War, the Philippine-American War, the Mexican Expedition, World War I and World War II, though it was not officially designated as the 20th Engineer Brigade during all of these wars, the brigade received campaign participation credit for all of these campaigns, and has numerous campaign streamers for what its previous incarnations did during these conflicts. On 16 August 1950 the brigade was first designated as the 20th Engineer Brigade and activated at Camp Leonard Wood, Missouri. It deployed overseas to France in November 1952 and established headquarters in Kwa Chapu. Comprising two battalions and six separate companies, the brigade provided engineer construction support to the base section of the European COMMZ in southwestern France. 
In August 1954, it redeployed back to the United States and was activated at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, on 10 September 1954. From that time until its inactivation on 12 December 1958, the brigade provided engineer support to the 18th Airborne Corps. <laughs> Vietnam War and aftermath In response to the buildup of U.S. forces in the Republic of Vietnam, the brigade headquarters was reactivated 1 May 1967, at Fort Bragg and deployed to Vietnam in August 1967. During the Vietnam War, the brigade numbered over 13,000 officers and enlisted men organized into three engineer groups, with 14 battalions and 31 separate companies and detachments. One of these soldiers, Al Gore, would later become Vice President of the United States. The brigade provided all non-divisional engineer support in military regions 3 and IV during 11 campaigns. Units cleared more than one half million acres, 2,000 square kilometers, of jungle, paved 500 kilometers of highway, and constructed bridges totaling more than six miles, 10 kilometers, in length. As American forces were withdrawing from Vietnam, the brigade was inactivated the 20th of September 1971. As the organization of the army changed following Vietnam, the 20th Engineer Brigade was again reactivated at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, as an airborne brigade on the 21st of June 1974. Assigned as a subordinate command of the 18th Airborne Corps, which comprised one airborne combat engineer battalion, a heavy construction battalion, and four separate companies. Additionally, the 283rd Engineer Detachment terrain analysis provided terrain intelligence needs of the brigade's mission. Since that time the brigade and its subordinate units supported the 18th Airborne Corps, fulfilling critical combat engineer, construction, topographic, and bridging missions. The brigade participated in the recovery efforts following the Great Lakes blizzard of 1977. Over 300 members of the unit were dispatched to New York State to help with recovery efforts. As requirements and the engineer force structure changed, the brigade inactivated the 548th Combat Heavy Battalion in 1987 and activated the 37th Combat Airborne Battalion. In 1989, the 30th Engineer Battalion topographic was added to the brigade. Over the years, the brigade has provided engineer support to 18th Airborne Corps and other Army commands. In addition to training, it has deployed in support of operations across the entire spectrum of conflict from disaster relief to combat operations. <laughs> <laughs> Gulf War The brigade was called to support the multinational response to the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait on 2 August 1990. The brigade grew to a 7,700 soldier force composed of three groups, ten battalions, four separate companies, and eight detachments in support of 18th Airborne Corps during operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm. The brigade completed 1,500 combat heavy battalions equivalent days of work constructing roads, airfields, heliports, ammunition, fuel, water storage points, life support areas and forward landing strips, distributed over 10 million maps, trained over 5,000 coalition engineers, and supported the French attack on a Salman airfield. During follow-on missions, the brigade destroyed over 6,000 enemy bunkers and 1 million tons of munitions. After the Gulf War, elements of the brigade were dispatched to Haiti on a humanitarian mission. The 20th Engineer Brigade was assigned to construct base camps, improve the Haitian infrastructure, participate in humanitarian service projects, and assist with the re-establishment of public services, with a goal of improving overall quality of life within the country. Since the 11th of September 2001, it has participated in repeated operations in Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Topic. First Iraq tour In November 2004 the brigade headquarters deployed to Camp Victory, Iraq in support of OIF-04-06. The brigade grew to a size of 6,100 personnel in of three brigade headquarters companies, seven battalions, six separate companies and nine detachments. 
The brigade served as the Multinational Corps, Iraq Corps level engineer headquarters for all echelon above division engineers in Iraq, providing command and control for general support combat and construction engineer missions across the country. During its deployment, the 20th Engineer Brigade patrolled 57,950 km of roads for improvised explosive devices, expanded 14 bases in support of the MNCI basing plan, emplaced or maintained 16 bridges, expanded detention capacity for 6,000 detainees, trained over 53,000 coalition soldiers on explosives hazards awareness, reduced over 11,000 caches and over 80,000 tons of explosive munitions. Other missions included repair of an airfield known as Key West by light equipment elements, support of the Long Range Surveillance Detachment, 313th Military Intelligence Battalion, 82nd Airborne Division based in Zaku, located in Iraqi Kurdistan. Another task for the brigade was to assist British engineers in a systematic mapping of the entire nation and creating an Iraqi geospatial reference system, in order to make national reconstruction easier and more organized. The 20th Brigade suffered at least one casualty during its tour in Iraq, with a soldier killed by an enemy improvised explosive device on of August 2005 in Ad Dwar when an explosive device destroyed his vehicle. During its deployment to Iraq, the unit assumed command of several additional battalions from the Army National Guard, forcing existing formations of the unit to cope with additional responsibilities. Seemingly elements of the 107th and 507th Engineer Battalions of the Michigan Army National Guard, the 30th Engineer Brigade of the North Carolina Army National Guard and the 194th Engineer Brigade of the Tennessee National Guard were part of the brigade. <laughs> Second Iraq tour The brigade again deployed to Iraq for the OIF 07 09 rotation. This time, the brigade was headquartered in Ballad, Iraq. The brigade was given Husky mine detection vehicles and Buffalo mine protected carrier vehicles for the deployment. The brigade was responsible for providing combat, geospatial and general engineering and reconstruction operations in partnership with provincial reconstruction teams, civil service corps, Sons of Iraq and Iraqi Army engineers, as well as training and assisting the Iraqi Army and provincial engineers in the rebuilding of the infrastructure of Iraq. As of May 2008, the brigade had constructed ten major bridges and destroyed or captured IED cells in nine of the country's provinces. During the deployment it was visited by Lt. Gen. Lloyd J. Austin III, the commanding general of Multinational Corps Iraq. The brigade was scheduled to return to Fort Bragg in the fall of 2008, to be replaced by the 555th Engineer Brigade. This was completed during a transfer of authority ceremony on 29 September 2008. The brigade then began redeploying to Fort Bragg, completing its return by November 2008. A year later, in August 2009, the brigade held a ceremony promoting dozens of its soldiers to the rank of sergeant. Topic: Honors. Topic: Unit decorations. Topic. Campaign streamers Topic. Notable soldiers Numerous soldiers who have served in the 20th Engineer Brigade have later achieved fame for various reasons, most of them having served the 20th in Vietnam. Former 20th Engineer Brigade soldiers and engineers include Chief of Engineers Robert B. Flowers, Governor of the Panama Canal Zone Harold Parfit, Vice President of the United States and Nobel Peace Prize winner Al Gore, Sergeant Major of the Army Leon L. Van Ortrieve, and West Virginian State Senator Richard Oyedar. 